Hey guys, Mike Miner here. Another cool stuff today regarding Chia mining. Today we'll be discussing about Mad Max plotting. First thing is, I want to share about how I did the plotting, the testing, and then the how many hours did I complete the plotting. First, I'm going to show you how long did I make for the plotting. So the first thing is I've started way back uh, on June 23rd and started 7.56 a.m. And uh, it ended by 12.45 p.m. It took about 4 hours and 49 minutes. So that's roughly about 17... Uh, 17,340 seconds, which means it's a 4 hours and 49 seconds. So, if we want to compute it, it's roughly about, uh, uh, let's say, 7,340 7, uh, divided by 4 is roughly 4,335, like that. 4335 seconds to our computation is 4335 seconds is roughly one hour and uh 1.20 hour and then and then i'm going to show you the actual plotting that i've had it's uh started 756 and ends by 1245 so this is the actual form that i'm having the next one that I'm going to share with you is how you can plot in parallel in Mad Max. So, let's try to connect to my, uh, one of my machines that's running on Mad Max. Mad Max. And then I'm going to show you how I'm doing the coding. So first thing is you need to declare your full key, which is this. And you got to declare your farmer public key like this. And then, uh, by the way, guys, you don't, you don't have to worry. I'll, I'll try to put a link for this uh, Python script under this video and how you can configure. So another one is another configuration that we need to do is the temp folder so i'm setting it under h and then we have a drive path which is uh you can set multiple paths in here which is uh i'm now i'm setting for four path four drives which is j k l and m so this j k l and m are all external path that i'm using in plotting so actually when i plot to this uh, hard drive i'm trying to to just temporarily plot in here and then i'm trying to copy over to another device because uh because in another device in another computer it's it's actually uh having another miner in there which is exposing to the h pool and then the next parameter or the next variable that we are using is the n plots. The n plots is how many plots that you need to, to plot in a particular drive. Let's say on J, how many plots do you want to plot here? So it's four. So when you go to K, how many plots? It's four. So maybe in the future, we'll try to, to improve on this. Maybe we can set as multiple plots declaration something similar with the drive path so yeah that would be a good idea also but currently whatever you have declared here is four will be four 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 all the way so i'm expecting that let's say on j k l and m they are equivalent uh, uh hard hard drive space for your plotting let's say six terabytes for each drive so for an estimate, you're, you will be able to, to plot how many, let's say we put maybe uh, uh, 10, 20, like 40, 40, yeah, 40 plots like that. So it depends. 
then uh, we have another declaration which is the Mad Max folder which this Mad Max folder is I'm going to put also a, a link on where I downloaded the file or I downloaded the program the software for Mad Max so currently my my to where I downloaded is under downloads so it's under Mad Max downloads Mad Max then and threads how many threads that is your uh, processor can be able to support or your CPU can support so currently I'm running three Ryzen 5 3600 so the max threads that my my CPU can support is 12 so I currently set as 9 it's because I don't want to maximize all the threads in my operating system because if you're going to maximize most probably your operating system will get stuck or you might get hang in between and then when you try to connect into your your machine you you might not be able to connect to your machine because it's quite bc so might as well i might i strongly suggest that you don't maximize the number of threads then we have here the bc and uh, it's you don't do not remove or or change this because it's a variable that uh when it tries to process a parallel or uh when 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 there's a current parallel program running so it will not try to 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 disturb the process so it will just uh, wait for it to finish and then it will proceed once it's completed and then yeah so basically we have this structure in uh, python it's a very simple code so it's just looping based on the drive path which i'm not going to explain on this uh, particular discussion right now because uh, uh, it's not part of this uh, discussion okay so basically this is the, the the code that we are having or you just have to declare this part and then uh, you, just you just have to run so how to run this is actually by running running uh, you just go to the default directory which currently i'm running in my desktop this 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 python script is running on my desktop and it's you can just call it as python chia mad max plotter and it will just execute based on your declaration on your variables so the requirement of this is to use a python python 3 currently my version let me see i think it's python 3 so currently i'm running on python 3.95 so this is the version that i'm using so might as well we try to download this version so it will be compatible so we'll try to leave also the description where you can download this python script under windows so how you can run this uh this script the python script is by typing python then uh, chia mad max plotter dot py and once ex you execute this it, this one will try to execute based on what you have declared in your python script so how it works is it will try to plot one by one based on what you have declared so let's say if you want to do a uh, parallel plotting then we must modify the python script to run as parallel then we no need to to wait as bc here but instead we're gonna do something based on the declaration here because currently if you set as ret0 so that means it's gonna wait for this to complete but if you want to do a parallel run we can change this code to run on a parallel which means that we we'll just have to wait on how many seconds to execute another path or another parallel run script so which means on drive k how many how many seconds we're going to wait after this one to execute 
so just let me know guys if if let's say you you are you will be needing how you can plot in parallel i did it this way it's because that my tree ryzen 5 3600 is limited for the from for the power in processing so what i've noticed is if you process one by one it's much more faster compared in running in parallel so that's why i did it this way so the average that i can run in the whole day maybe i can run as much as uh 20 plots per day or 21 22 like that in a day so not bad actually if i run in a day thanks for watching guys this is another uh, episode of might miner so i hope you learned something on on how you can do parallel plotting using mad max and uh, through the use of python script also because currently we don't have any manager or chia manager chia mad max manager plotting that will be able to to manage the the, the, the plotting unlike in the the, the original uh, chia plotting we have a swar plot manager that we'll be able to use in plotting so thanks for watching guys this is another episode of mike miner goodbye Thank you.